Peggy 7. Ah, hello Maxoids. My name is Ross Trays, and I'm a gameplay balance designer here at Maxis. Some of you may know me from the forums as Maxis Little Tuna. Well today, I'm going to give you a little tutorial about roads in SimCity. I've just laid out a simple city using uh, all the different road types to demonstrate what they do. This section is built using low density dirt road, which has two lanes. Uh, now I like to start out my city building basically only medium density avenues and these dirt roads because they're the cheapest. So when you're ready to upgrade a little bit, you can upgrade to these low density streets, which uh, each have two lanes. And uh, this is a good sort of uh, beginning start for your city. Uh, w once you've gotten enough money to upgrade from the dirt roads, it's good to go to these guys because the dirt roads have lots of traffic problems once you start getting a lot of buildings in there. Now, this section is built using medium density streets. Uh, you want to upgrade your low density streets to medium density streets when you're starting to feel that push for more money. Once you feel like you've gotten the whole city under control at low density, you want to start upgrading selectively to medium density so that you can start getting a little bit of those bigger buildings. Now I'm going to show you a section of the city that was built using high density roads. High density roads are great because they allow for any density of building to come in along them. They have four lanes. As you can see, these higher density buildings have higher density traffic problems. And they also require more water, produce more sewage, and garbage. But they come with more sims and more jobs for sims, so it's a trade-off. Now I'm going to show you a little bit about the road upgrade tool. As you can see, this building is ready to go up in density, but it can't along this type of road that it's built on. So I'm going to go to my road palette, click on the road upgrade tool, click on the section of road that I want to upgrade, and then upgrade it. As you can see, the uh, new construction on your higher density building begins immediately. And I'm just going to speed this up so that uh, we can see some of these buildings come in. Going it up in density is fun, but it can also be a challenge. Higher density buildings hold more sims and give them more jobs, but they require more power, more water, they produce more garbage and sewage, and they're more sensitive to negative things like fire, crime, and health issues. Well, that's about all I have for you today. Thank you for watching this tutorial video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for future videos.